never understood the concept of marriage because when people would say, why don't you want to get married? I'd say, why would I invite the federal and state government into my love life? Bill Maher has built a remarkable career as a comedian, political commentator, and television host. Known for his sharp wit and unapologetic approach to controversial topics. From his early days performing stand-up comedy to his long-running HBO show Real Time with Bill Maher, he's remained a provocative voice in the media landscape. Despite his public persona, he's always maintained a distinctive personal life, choosing to remain unmarried while having a notably active dating history. In this video, we're taking a look at what he said about marriage and how his political views have alienated some of his fan base and more. Early Life and Career Bill Maher was born January 20, 1956, in New York City and grew up in Rivervale, New Jersey. His father, William Aloysius Maher Jr., was a successful network news editor and radio announcer, while his mother, Julie, was a nurse. Raised in a Roman Catholic household, Marr later became an atheist, a topic he often explores in his comedy and political commentary. He attended Pasak Hills High School and then Cornell University, where he double majored in English and history. His comedy career began in the late 70s. He started performing stand-up in New York City, developing a style that blended sharp wit with a fearless approach to controversial topics. By the early 80s, he'd made a name for himself on the stand-up circuit and began appearing on various TV shows, including The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson, and Late Night with David Letterman. My mother is Jewish and my father is Catholic. That is the truth. I was raised Catholic formally, although I must say the Jewish mind comes out even in the Catholic system. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, we used to go into confession and uh, I would bring a lawyer in with me. <laughs> In 1993, Marr created and hosted Politically Incorrect, a late-night talk show that aired on Comedy Central before moving to ABC. The program featured a panel of guests from various backgrounds who discussed current events and controversial topics. It was a critical success, earning Marr a loyal following and numerous awards, including a primetime Emmy in 2000. But the show's provocative nature also led to controversy, and it was canceled in 2002 after Marr made remarks about the 9-11 attacks that some found offensive. Despite the setback, Marr quickly bounced back, launching Real Time with Bill Marr on HBO in 2003. The show retained the panel discussion format of Politically Incorrect, but allowed for more in-depth discussions and a longer format, which suited Marr's style. Real Time has since become a staple of political commentary on television, known for its unfiltered discussions and Marr's unapologetic stance on various issues. Personal Life Bill Maher's personal life has always been a topic of public fascination, largely due to his high-profile dating history and his outspoken views on relationships and marriage. Over the years, Maher has been linked with several famous women, including former Playboy model Coco Johnson, neuroscientist Cara Santa Maria, and singer Anjuli Perso. Despite these relationships, Maher has famously never married, a decision he has often discussed publicly. Marr's relationship with Coco Johnson, which lasted from 2003 to 2004, ended in a highly publicized legal battle when Johnson sued Marr for $9 million, alleging pain and suffering after the breakup. The case was eventually dismissed, but it brought significant media attention to Marr's personal life. In subsequent years, he dated Cara Santa Maria, a science communicator and podcast host from 2009 to 2011. His relationship with Anjali Persaud, a Canadian singer, began in 2014 and has been noted for its longevity compared to his previous relationships. In interviews, Marr has often shared his views on why he chooses not to marry. He has cited his independence and preference for a bachelor lifestyle as key reasons. In a 2013 interview with Howard Stern, Marr said, quote, I'm the last of my guy friends who has never gotten married and their wives, they don't want them playing with me. I'm like the escaped slave. I bring news of freedom. He added, yeah. <laughs> but I, I never understood how you can be with the same person just day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. I just Mars' views on relationships extend beyond his personal choices. He often uses his platform to discuss societal norms and expectations surrounding marriage and dating. In one episode of Real Time with Bill Maher, he quipped, quote, Marriage is a great institution, but who wants to live in an institution? 
This encapsulates his often humorous yet critical perspective on traditional relationship structures. Bill's decision to remain single is a defining aspect of his personal philosophy and public persona. He's been vocal about his views on marriage, often framing his choice as a matter of personal freedom and independence. In various interviews and on his show, Marr has articulated his belief that marriage as an institution does not align with his lifestyle or values. In a 2006 interview with Rolling Stone, Marr explained, quote, I'm not against marriage, it's just not for me. I've seen what it does to people, and I like my life the way it is. This underscores his preference for a life unencumbered by the commitments and compromises that marriage often entails. Marr's stance on marriage is not just about avoiding traditional commitments, but also about rejecting societal expectations. In an episode of Real Time with Bill Maher, he commented, quote, The problem with marriage is that it's been treated as a one-size-fits-all solution. And that's just not the case. Not everyone is built for marriage. His views are often delivered with his characteristic wit and humor. For instance, in another interview, he quipped, Marriage is like a root canal with a paycheck. Bill and Howard Stern Bill Maher's relationship with Howard Stern has been a significant and often tumultuous chapter in his personal and professional life. The two media personalities, known for their unfiltered and provocative styles, shared a long-standing friendship that was as notable for its camaraderie as for its eventual falling out. Marr and Stern first connected in the 80s, both emerging as influential figures in the entertainment industry with a shared penchant for pushing boundaries. Their friendship was publicly chronicled through numerous appearances on each other's shows. Marr was a frequent guest on The Howard Stern Show, where the two would engage in candid and often humorous discussions about politics, culture, and their personal lives. Marr once remarked, Howard and I get along because we both have a very clear understanding of the absurdity of life and the entertainment business. But the friendship began to sour over time, leading to a well-publicized falling out. The exact reasons remain somewhat unclear, with both parties offering different perspectives. In a 2019 interview, Marr hinted at the complexity of the relationship, saying, Howard and I have had our ups and downs like any long-term relationship. We're both strong personalities, and sometimes that can lead to conflicts. Stern, for his part, also addressed the fallout, suggesting that professional competition and differing views on certain issues may have contributed to the strain. Despite the end of the close friendship, both Marr and Stern have expressed a degree of mutual respect. Stern noted in a 2020 interview, I respect Bill. He's brilliant at what he does. But sometimes people grow apart, and that's just life. Losing his base in recent years, Bill has faced increasing criticism from the left, a group that once counted him as one of its most outspoken advocates. Marr's penchant for critiquing his own political allies has led to accusations that he's alienating his base. One of the main areas of contention is his stance on cancel culture. He's been a vocal critic of what he sees as an overly punitive and intolerant attitude within progressive circles towards those who deviate from ideological orthodoxy. He's frequently addressed the issue on his show, arguing that cancel culture stifles free speech and open debate. Quote, the woke movement is about turning the judgmentalism that is inherent in religion into something that is acceptable in society, he said in a 2021 episode. If you're part of today's woke revolution, you need to study the part of revolutions where they spin out of control because the revolutionaries get so drunk on their own purifying elixir, they imagine they can reinvent the very nature of human beings. Marr's criticism extends to other aspects of progressive politics, like identity politics and what he perceives as an obsession with ideological purity. The backlash from the left has not gone unnoticed by Marr. He acknowledges that his views have alienated some of his traditional supporters, but he remains unapologetic. In a 2022 interview, he said, quote, I'd rather be true to what I believe and lose some fans than pander to what people want to hear. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think of Bill Maher's views? Let us know in the comments section below.